Hello friends. Today we are going to compare three ultra zoom lenses with 100 to 400 mm zoom range on Sony A7 III mirrorless digital camera body. The lenses we are going to compare are Sony FE 100 to 400 mm GM lens then Sigma 100 to 400 mm contemporary lens for Canon and the Canon FE 100 to 400 mm Mark II USM lens. Sony lens we are comparing is natively designed for Sony E-mount cameras. However, both Sigma and Canon lenses we are comparing are for Canon EF mount cameras. We will use Sigma MC11 adapter for Canon to Sony E-mount conversion. In this video, first I'm going to compare the specifications of these lenses. Then I'll compare the still photographs and then I'll compare the video performance of these lenses. Before we get lost into details, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Without any further delay, let's start the comparison. Sigma lens is less than half the price of Sony and Canon lens, even if you add the MC11 adapter cost. From the cost of the lens and adapter perspective, it will only make sense to use Canon lens on Sony body if you already own it. Test results will suggest the same that we will see later in this video. Aperture wise, Sigma also have disadvantage as it is slower than both Sony and Canon lens. That means Sigma will perform less in darker light and require higher ISO speed to compensate. Both Sony and Canon lens come with tripod collar. Camera and lens is much more balanced using the lens collar compared to using the tripod mount on the camera body. Therefore, I'll consider this disadvantage for Sigma. Sigma lens is significantly lighter, but Sony lens in this comparison is the only one with native E-mount for Sony lenses. Canon and Sigma lens will require adapter such as MC11 adapter. There is another adapter called Metabones that I'm not comparing here. Recently, Sigma has introduced a new lens that is specifications wise very similar to the lens that I'm comparing here, but it comes with native Sony E-mount. That means it will not require an adapter to mount to Sony E-mount body. It also has tripod collar that is optional. Since I don't have Sigma native E-mount lens, I'm not comparing it here in this uh, review, but at least I could compare the specifications here so that you can look at it as well. My guess is the new Sigma lens with E-mount will perform as good as Sigma lens for Canon that I'm comparing here if not any better. Now we will move on to our next section of comparing pictures of still objects. In this section, all three lenses performed fairly well. It was noticed that Canon sometimes takes more time to focus, mostly because MC11 adapter that Canon is using to mount to the Sony camera body is not made for Canon lenses. It is made for Sigma lenses for Canon mount, EF mount. Since it was going to be difficult for you to compare high resolution pictures, I took portion of the picture and compared it side by side for all three lenses uh, and you can see that uh, Sony performed the best. It was the sharpest, Canon was very similar, and Sigma was slightly less sharper than both. 
same results you can see in the section that I picked from the left. Let's move on to the next section of taking still pictures of moving objects. In this section, Sigma lens performed much better than my previous experience. Uh, actually, I upgraded MC11 firmware to 1.36 and Sigma lens firmware to 2.07 and it dramatically changed its uh, focusing capability. And the same is true for videos that we'll discuss later. Now Sigma lens can focus fairly fast with MC11 adapter. After Sigma, I tested Sony on fast moving objects and it performed very well on uh, Sony A7 III body uh, natively. And uh, I was able to get almost every picture very sharp. Even though I was impressed with Sony performance, but I was not surprised since the price of Sony, even Canon lens is three times more than Sigma lens for Canon. Contemporary lens is what I'm talking about. And this gives me confidence that the new lens from Sigma that is made for native E-mount will perform better than even the Sigma I'm comparing here, which is made for Canon mount, not E-mount on Sony. The next lens I tested on fast moving objects with still picture was Canon. Canon gave very nice colors and very sharp images, but 80% of the time it could not focus fast move, moving object. It is not the fault of the lens. The problem is MC11 adapter is not designed for Canon lenses and Canon lenses by themselves are not designed for Sony bodies either. So don't judge its performance based on its result on Sony. I'm sure on Canon it perform fairly close to what Sony performs on its native body. The next section is video testing with these lenses. First, we are looking at Sigma lens, trying to cover this uh, model aircraft. And it is doing a fairly good job of focusing this moving object. I think, like I said before, this video focusing capability has also improved after this new firmware update 1.36 for MC11 that I got. I also upgraded Sigma lens firmware to 2.07. And uh, since then I'm seeing very good results. Focusing is much, much better than before. Um, so I'm satisfied with Sigma. Next test is Sony lens. And uh, I think it is uh, more sharper. I think it focuses, in this case, not much different than Sigma, but, but uh, sometimes image looks more sharper. As far as Canon lens is concerned, I did not made its uh, video because Canon lens cannot focus in video mode with MC11 adapter. Basically, MC11 adapter is not designed 
for Canon lenses and it does not allow or support the focusing capability during video mode. You can still make videos but only if you have good focusing skills in video mode, manual focusing skills. Now finally, it is time for the conclusion. If money is not the concern, your best choice based on our testing is Sony 100 to 400 millimeter lens. It will give you best focusing performance, sharpness and color, both for video and still photographs. As far as Sigma is concerned, it also gives satisfactory results. Since Sigma has now released improved Sony native E-mount version of this lens, I will recommend to consider it instead. However, if you already own Sigma 100 to 400 mm contemporary lens for Canon or get much better deal in used lenses, then considering Sigma for Canon with MC11 is also a viable option. Canon with MC11 will work for photographs of still or slow moving objects. It produces sharp and very nice colors when focus is successful. However, you will miss focus on some percentage of pictures. Focusing issue will increase with faster object speed and poor lighting conditions. I will not recommend buying Canon 100 to 400 millimeter lens with MC11 adapter for use on Sony camera unless you already own it. 100 to 400 millimeter lens firmware version 2.07. With that said, I will end this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.